back to another video. I have been a little bit absent on this channel. I am so, so sorry, but I am back today with another autumn styling video for you. We're a little bit bright here. Let's turn this brightness right down. I'm sat in front of the window trying to get a little bit of light because it is so dull here. Autumn has well and truly hit and I'm absolutely loving it. I thought for today's video, I would put together um, kind of like the things I want to buy for autumn and the things I'm planning on wearing for autumn and kind of ideas in my head about the kind of outfits I want to wear and outfits that I've seen that I want to put together and just basically give you a heads up on the things that I'm going to be buying to put into my wardrobe so that if you like my style, which if you're here you probably do, it might give you some ideas and a few hints and tips for things that you might want to purchase and add into your wardrobe. And quickly before we get into this video, I wanted to share with you some amazing jewellery that I've received that I am going to be styling with so many of my autumn outfits. I've already shared it with you on my Instagram last week and you have seen me wearing them. I had so, so many messages about these rings. So their jewellery is so beautiful and also it is sustainable and they've given me a discount code that I can share with you guys. So if you wanted to get discount on any of these pieces or so many of their gorgeous like gold, really stunning jewellery, um, my discount code is on the screen now for you. So the first item that I got was this gorgeous gold and black ring. So many girls messaged me on Instagram about this ring and were like, I have been looking for a ring like this in so long, where is it from? So I'm really happy to be able to help you girls with this because I absolutely love it. I also picked up this absolutely amazing gold, really big, chunky ring, which I've been wearing on my thumb quite a lot, but you can also wear it like on your ring, like on your actual fingers as well. I think they just look so nice together and especially with like an all black outfit, I just think gold jewellery always looks so lovely. And then the last ring that I picked up is this absolutely gorgeous, like detailed gold ring as well, which I've been wearing non-stop. Like jewellery like this really just finishes off an awesome outfit. So when you are thinking about these outfits that I'm going to share with you today and ways that you can incorporate them into your wardrobe, just remember that jewellery always finishes off an outfit. And very last but not least, I got these gorgeous gold like double ring kind of like huggies. I've been wearing these so much as well. Been really into wearing some huggies lately. I've had my second um my second piercing done in my ears, so I can't wait until I can take this one out and put two little huggies in there. I've got some of my eye on some other ones from Anna Luisa as well. If you're wanting some pieces just to mix up your jewelry collection, the link and my discount code is in the description box for you so you can check them out on there, but I absolutely love them. It's such gorgeous pieces. So today's video is gonna be things that I'm gonna add to my wardrobe in autumn, outfits that I plan to wear in autumn, share with you things that are basically inside my fashion brain at the moment, wearing around and trying to find pieces to put together and recreate some outfits that I've seen and I'm also going to give you some styling ideas in the description box so you can click through and have a little look. Okay so when it comes to autumn styling coats for me are way up there on the hit list and this year I feel like there's going to be three kinds of coats that I'm going to be wearing a lot. First of all as always a puffer coat. Now if you've seen me in my puffer coat last year I got the most amazing coat it was from Adidas by Stella McCartney and it saw me through every kind of weather you could possibly think of all the UK weather the rainy days the snow I wore it so so much and I've already been wearing it again this year and good news for you is that Adidas have brought it out again for you this year it is very very slightly different the logo on the sleeve is a slightly different color to my one but I would if you're wanting to invest in a really good winter coat if you're like me and you need to do school runs and dog walks and football games where you stand in freezing cold in the rain there is only one coat that I would recommend if you are wanting to splurge and spend a little bit more money on and it would 100% be this coat. I have worn it to death and I'm still going to wear it again this year. I absolutely love it. I'm very tempted to get the shorter version of it so I hope they re bring that out again this year. So when it comes to puffer coats, I am a big, big fan of puffer coats. I've already bought myself a really gorgeous khaki one and I've actually been wearing Ricks a lot. I'm really into this like really oversized like menswear puffer coat look. 
I'm not a big fan of the short cropped puffer coats. It's not something you'll see me wearing. I don't really feel like it's my style, but the big oversized, like as if you're wearing your boyfriend's coat, I am here for it. So I would say, if you wanted to go for this look, then either just pinch your boyfriend's coat or your husband's coat, or you can invest in a really big oversized North Face coat. Rick has the most amazing Ralph Lauren one, which I've been wearing non-stop. I absolutely love it. So for me, puffer coats have got to be big. Pretty much I would go towards black, so. Another huge trend that we've seen coming straight in online and on the high street this year has been quilted jackets and quilted coats. They've been absolutely everywhere. I have already invested in this trend. I got the most gorgeous black one from our cat and I got a gorgeous khaki one from our cat as well. They are absolutely beautiful and I I'm so in love with them and I've already got my eye on some other ones from the high street. H&M have some amazing styles in and I just think again this is such an easy outfit to wear. If you're wanting a coat to just chuck on, it's going to be practical that you can wear with all your leggings and hoodies. A quilted coat for me is the one this year. I just think they look so so good and so classy. But one of my absolute favourite coats to wear in autumn and winter has to be like a long, either a long wool coat or a long trench coat. They are such a wearable style and if you don't have one in your wardrobe, definitely invest in one. They are so perfect to throw on. If you literally cannot be bothered to get dressed, you can chuck it on with a plain hoodie, a plain sweatshirt and some black leggings, trainers and socks, even a cap if you don't want to do your hair and you chuck on a long coat and it just gives you that air of sophistication. It makes you look like you've made an effort when actually you're basically wearing a, a dressing gown kind of coat that's just going to keep you warm and cozy and you just cannot be bothered and I just love everything about that when it comes to a coat. So trench coats for now in autumn when it's still a little bit warmer and as we walk, move through to winter you're going to switch them up for a nice thick cozy wool belted coat and then you can switch your cap for bubble hats and woolly hats and just a coat that I wear so so much in autumn and I plan on doing so more. I have linked some ones that I've got my eye on in the description box for you as well. Blazers for me are such a winner for autumn winter style. No matter where you are going, if you wanna look like really smart but you don't wanna to feel too dressed up, no matter what kind of occasion you could possibly need, a blazer is always there for you. And this year, the leather blazer is the one piece that needs to be your wardrobe. Definitely size up. The one that I've bought already this year, I bought in a size 12 so I could team it over the top of things and wear it layered. And I absolutely love it. It's one of those pieces that you can wear so much. It's gonna look amazing over like t-shirt and jeans, hoodie and leggings. You can wear it dressed up, you can wear it dressed down, like it's just such a versatile piece and I'm going to be wearing this so much this year. You can also just, if you're not kind of comfortable going for the leather blazer, you can definitely just go for a normal blazer, go super oversized. I even got myself a blazer coat which is on my last video that I created for you and it is so amazing. It gives you that vibe of like an oversized boxy blazer but it's so nice and thick and woolly and warm and that's another one that I'm gonna be wearing so much this year. Then to go with these outfits, whether it's like dresses or blazers, if you are wanting to wear like skirts and shorts or knitted dress, jumper dresses like the one I'm wearing today, you're gonna to want to wear some kind of tights. Now if you are buying tights this year, do not go for the dark, dark black ones. They need to be that kind of lighter denier where you can kind of see through them and they're like a barely there kind of black. This is just going to elevate your outfit and make it look even more stylish than a normal pair of black tights with wood. And, but it's still going to give you that warmth and coverage and just pull your outfit together. I absolutely love this look of like a big boxy blazer or a jumper dress. Really thin, barely there tights and chunky boots. I just think everybody can wear it and you can wear it for so many different occasions. Loafers for me are huge this autumn winter. I have had my eye on the Prada ones for so long but I am on a designer spending ban. I invested in some ones from ASOS and I'm absolutely loving them and I'm so excited to start teaming outfits together. An outfit that I've got in my head is like some really nice leggings with the stirrups on and the loafers, blazer. I'm just all about lots of real like minimal 
dark colours, lots of black, like nice tailoring. I'm just really into that this autumn, so I feel like my loafers are going to come into their own at the moment. I love all the little outfits where you can just wear them with skirts and little socks, but then I think they also look amazing just with like jeans and leggings and they can be a really wearable piece in your wardrobe so if you've not invested in any um, have a little look in the description box and I have created a little edit of some of my favourite loafers that I found online at the moment. I also have been wearing my um, my little Gucci Princeton loafers. I kind of wish I bought them in the full shoe rather than the slip-on version because I think I would have got more wear out of them like coming into autumn. But there's definitely some more affordable options um, of that shoe that look just as good. So I've linked some of those below as well because I'm kind of thinking I might treat myself to a nice kind of full shoe kind of that style. I am actually going to do next week a full autumn footwear video, share with you my whole trainer, boot collection, all the kind of styles that I love for autumn, winter, and things that I'm gonna be adding into my wardrobe as well. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on that one next week. Leggings are a really, really staple piece of my wardrobe all the way through the year, but this year I've really found myself leaning towards a new kind of style. Now, I'm sure you will have seen them on my Instagram page. Absolutely in love at the moment with the leggings that are just like a plain black legging, but then rather than them just tapering completely in at the ankle, they have this slit, so you can kind of unzip them or they're slightly slit. So they just sit really well over like trainers and boots and things like that. I absolutely love that style. I just think there's something so comfortable and wearable about it. I always definitely recommend including it into your wardrobe. If you've got a lot of basics like me, like knitwear and sweatshirts, you wear a lot of t-shirts and things like that, I think it's a piece that you will definitely be able to incorporate into the, your wardrobe with things that you already have. And it's good enough for Victoria Beckham, it is good enough for me. So definitely, favorite little move on of mine for this year of my wardrobe. Sunglasses for me are a huge part of my autumn winter wardrobe. I still think in autumn, Sometimes when you've got like an outfit on, just adding a pair of sunglasses can just instantly elevate your look. Never mind the fact that it covers when you can't be asked wearing makeup or when you're just not feeling so good. I love just wearing like my hair in a little bun and putting some sunglasses on, a really nice piece of knitwear and some jeans, trainers. I think it's such an easy, really comfortable, wearable look. But for some reason, just adding those sunglasses makes all the difference. Now my Ray-Bans, I get a million questions about my Ray-Bans every single week. They are the round, large round style, so they're slightly bigger than the normal one. I wear them so, so much. I think I got them for my birthday last September and I've worn them non-stop all year round. I've also got a few um, kind of like vintage style ones. I really have my eye on the Prada ones, but I resisted and got myself a cheaper version. And um, I just think with Sunnies, you don't necessarily have to spend a lot of money on them at all. Have a look in the description below. I've linked loads of my favorites that are around at the moment. And if you don't have a decent pair, then just find, just find a pair that really suits your face. Just adds that extra, extra little touch of style to any outfit that you put together. This is my signature look whenever I am not sure on what to wear or whenever I've got things on at the weekends, like my casual signature look is an oversized sweatshirt with a long white t-shirt and some really good leggings and trainers. It is such an easy outfit, but if you get it right, it looks so, so good. And this is one of my favorite. I've actually worn this twice already this autumn and we're only on the fourth day of October. It's just my favorite, favorite thing to wear. So if you're like me and you're a busy mum or you've got things that you always need to be practical, this should be your go-to and you can mix and match so many different like sweatshirts, leggings, just come up with so many different variations of it. But for me, it's such a winner. So flattering so comfortable and just really really easy to wear so definitely invest i've also linked below some of my favorite long line white t-shirts because again such an essential in your wardrobe not only to wear under sweatshirt so also to wear under knitwear and jacket so yeah they are definitely my recommendations when it comes to a good boxy long line t-shirt caps are still going to be in my wardrobe this year for me they are just something I definitely need, especially as the weather starts to turn a little bit more wet here in the UK, like today. It's so rainy outside my window today. And 
caps are just such a versatile, easy way to kind of just bring a really casual, really basic outfit to looking a little bit more stylish. So I've tagged some favourites of mine below. And then as the weather turns colder, we're going to switch it up for some more like bubble hats and knitted hats. And the stories are my absolute favourite for winter hats. I think the price point is a little bit higher, but the quality is so good. And once you buy one, it will last you a year on year. So definitely something that I'm still going to be wearing this year. And now my favourite section, knitwear. My favourite section of my wardrobe is always knitwear. And I'm so excited because one of the trends this year is like super oversized, really big, really slouchy knitwear and that is something that I wear all the time anyway. I've worn it for years and years. So the fact that my favorite kind of things to wear in winter is actually one of the really big trends this year just makes me so, so happy. Whenever I am buying knitwear, I always, always size up to like a large or even an extra large, depending on how big I want it. And this year's trend is all about double XL knitwear. So think massive maxi dresses, big slouchy jumpers, huge cardigans, anything hand knitted I am here for which is just music to my ears to be quite honest so when it comes to knitwear I wear it all the time you know I love teaming big slouchy oversized knitwear with little skirts over dresses leggings jeans even leather trousers and it's something I'm still gonna do this year so I found a a huge collection of some amazing knitwear that I'm considering doing buying and that is linked in the description for you and I've shared it a little bit on the screen for you as well because knitwear is just life for me. In Awesome Winter it is just one of the things I wear the most. So I hope that I've given you some ideas of things that you're gonna to want to add into your autumn wardrobe for this year. These are things that you're gonna see me wearing on my Instagram. If you don't already follow me, go follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and you will see a lot of these outfits and ideas coming to fruition on my feeds. I'm also going to do an autumn, winter, out, out styling video that is going to be coming up on my channel not next week but the week after where I'm going to give you tons of ideas for autumn and winter, colder, date nights, nights out with the girls, things that I would wear, not that I go out because I'm super boring but if I was going for loads of nights out these would be the outfits that I would wear so I'm going to style up a handful of really dressy dressy outfits for you so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that. If you do love my jewellery from Anna Luisa that I'm wearing today including these beautiful earrings you can shop them and so many more gorgeous styles in the description box the link is there and also my discount code is there for you to use also I love you all girls and I will see you very soon bye